So in my last video, I went over how I passed the Splunk Core Certified Power User Certification, as well as a video I made about three years ago where I talked about how I passed the Splunk Certified Core User. And in this video, you're probably expecting from the title that I'm going to go over how I passed the Splunk Certified Cybersecurity Defense Analyst Certification. Jeez, that's a mouthful. To be honest, I didn't use anything to study for the certification. I didn't study for it at all. I just studied for the Splunk Power User and I scheduled this certification on the exact same day with the power user so both on the same day back to back and i just yellowed it thankfully it worked out well and i passed on my first attempt i think because i have some experience with splunk and like cybersecurity, i figured it would kind of be an easy one to go through i also went through the exam objectives and all of that which i'll go over in a second and i figured like i think i have some experience with some of this and i understand what they're talking about here and what they're asking for i didn't use any practice exams like i said i just yellowed it and it all worked out so i don't have any resources for you i can tell you how you you can pass the Splunk power user or the Splunk core user. So go check out those videos. But if you want to study for your certification, I know Splunk has some resources. If you have access to like Splunk training through your company, go through those resources. They're obviously official resources. So it's teaching you what you need to learn for the certification. But if you don't have access to those and you have some experience, I think it's a fairly easy exam. It's a combination of like cybersecurity stuff and Splunk enterprise security stuff and Splunk stuff as well. So it's not too hard. Now, if you don't have any experience, at all i wouldn't recommend it as your first certification except you really have access to the splunk training or you're able to kind of figure out a way to learn the exam objectives on your own so that being said let's actually go over what the exam objectives look like so here's a pdf from splunk about the splunk test blueprint this is publicly available so you can access this i'll actually link this in the description but this certification has 66 questions it's intermediate level and it's a 75 minute certification the first part is the cybersecurity landscape frameworks and standards so i think you should expect things like MITRE ATT&CK, uh, Lockheed Martin, Kill Chain, all of those things. If you understand those things, then you should be fine. So also understanding like cybersecurity responsibilities, like analyst, engineer, architect, that sometimes mixes up, but like, you know, I think those are fairly straightforward to understand. And then also, you know, CIA, confidentiality, integrity, and availability, very straightforward stuff here. And then 20% of the exam is also going to be threat and attack types, motivations, and tactics. So common attack types, so stuff like social engineering, ransom, where exfiltration, denial of service, botnet stuff, command and control, account takeovers, email, like those things are stuff you learn in security plus and just common lingo in cybersecurity. So it should be fairly straightforward. And then Splunk enterprise security as well. That is a bit like custom. So I didn't really have much experience with enterprise security. Well, I did, but I haven't used it in quite a while. So that is something that might be a little bit of a snag, but I think it's not too hard to kind of grasp the concepts or know what to answer when you see the questions in the exam. So I won't go too deep on that. Next is 20% is defenses, data sources, and same best practices. So being able to identify common types of cyber defense systems, analysis tools, and useful data sources. And then also like some Splunk specific stuff or Splunk enterprise security specific stuff like the common information model, data models, and acceleration. These are actually more Splunk centric stuff. So like you actually learn about a common information model from like most general Splunk courses and all that stuff. And then this is more so specific towards like Splunk enterprise security as well, but nothing like too crazy like in regards to like common source types on-prem and cloud-based deployments and all that stuff i think this is very straightforward and the 20 percent is investigation event handling correlation and risk now this starts getting into like a little bit of like technicalities and like wording and definitions so like i think splunk is a little bit specific about certain things you might want to know how they define things because you know the way things are in cybersecurity where like nist would define something certain kind of way mitre would define something certain kind of way lucky martin would define something certain kind of way the cloud alliance would define find something like it's like everyone wants you to have like their own specific definition like come to does the same thing like they want you to answer questions very specifically even if it might not always be the right answer like isc score like everyone has their own way of interpreting things and how they want you to answer questions in certification so some of that context might be good just for the certification but also just like general cybersecurity knowledge and experience can help you answer some questions in regards to this but this definitely gets a little bit more like technical and like you know specific to certification so yeah that's it about this and then 20% is about SPL and searching, so like general Splunk stuff. So TSTAS, transaction, uh, first, last, Rex, eval, for each, lookup, make results, other Splunk stuff too. Like don't, you know, skim on your, you know, other stuff. I think lookups are there, yeah. Eval is there. I think search, transaction, yeah. Those things are super important and you should know those things if you're familiar with Splunk. What else? Threat Hunter Remediation. This is also something that could be a little bit more geared towards how Splunk defines it as well, but still somewhat around 
around general cybersecurity knowledge. So nothing to be worried about there. Now they give you some exam prep stuff. So some Splunk how to videos on their channel, Splunk docs, and also the Splunk bus of the sock blog. I didn't use any of these. I did use, I used the Splunk how to YouTube channel for some tutorials and stuff, but nothing really specific to this particular exam. Also, this is the other PDF from Splunk about this certification. Apparently there's no prerequisite certification for it and there's no prerequisite course for it. So I don't know how true this is because I personally feel like my experience with the core and power user help with this. I would personally say like maybe Splunk core user as a foundation before this, but I mean, I think they, they think otherwise. Matter of fact, I am wrong about that. They did mention, they mentioned that it is recommended to have power user level knowledge of Splunk Enterprise. So I was wrong about that. So yeah, so power user level knowledge of uh, Splunk Enterprise, which kind of makes sense because I took the power user, I have power user you know knowledge of Splunk. So I'm able to kind of understand like, you know, those levels of Splunk related, related things as well as security stuff. So that's how I prepare for the exam. I don't have any specific resources for you. I would just say like, kind of go through this stuff and look for resources to understand it. Like, or you have the experience and knowledge, security plus, maybe CYC plus, or just general like security operations knowledge. And of course some Splunk knowledge should be good. Ideally you'd want to be working with Splunk regularly or have your own Splunk instance at home that you work with on a regular basis to help you with this stuff. So that should be all that you need. And if you want to learn more about how to pass the Splunk power user certification, then check out this video on the right of the screen. And if you want to actually see me go through a Splunk investigation live where I go over how an attacker tried to sneakily bypass Microsoft Defender and investigate that within Splunk, then definitely check out this video on the left of the screen. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.